Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce German syntax. The word syntax is derived from the ancient Greek and means arranging together. In linguistics, syntax is the study of how sentence elements are arranged. In English statements, the subject generally comes in the first position. Here the subject is the first person plural, nominative personal pronoun, we. The verb, here a first person plural progressive construction, comes in the second position. The progressive construction in English describes an ongoing event and consists of a conjugated form of the verb to be in the present participle of a verb. Additional information is usually presented as prepositional phrases or adverbial modifiers after the verb in a third position. Here the prepositional phrase to Berlin describes the place to where the subject is driving. And here, also in the third position, is the adverbial modifier describing the time when this activity will take place. German has a similar syntax, although we will see toward the end of this presentation that it is more flexible than English. Here the subject is the first person plural, nominative personal pronoun, wir, we. There is no progressive construction in German, so only one verb, the first person plural form of fahren, to drive, is in the second position. In the third position, we can see heute, today, acting as an adverbial time modifier, as well as the dative prepositional phrase nach Berlin, to Berlin, describing the place to where the subject is driving. In a German sentence, elements in the third position are arranged according to time, manner, and place. This is known as the TMP rule. The first element expressing time, hier heute, will always come first. The element expressing manner will come second. Here, to illustrate this point, I have added the dative prepositional phrase mit Uli, with Uli, to the sentence we have been examining. The third element here, the dative prepositional phrase, nach Berlin, will express place. German is more flexible than English in that the elements expressing time, manner, and place can be moved to the first position in the sentence in order to emphasize them. It is, for example, common to place the time element in the first position. When this occurs, the other manner and place elements remain in the third position in the regular order. The subject of the sentence, you will note, is moved to immediately after the verb. Less common, although possible, is to place the manner element in the first position. As before, the other time and place elements remain in the third position in the regular order. The subject of the sentence, again, appears immediately after the verb. It is also possible for the place element to appear in the first position. And, as to be expected, the time and manner elements remain in the third position in the regular order. The subject of the sentence, as is to be expected, again appears immediately after the verb. Yet regardless of what element appears in the first position, the verb can always be found, at least in statements, in the second position. The 5-Minute German Grammar Series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.